Hi, I'm Cora, and this is Teddy. And today we are going to demonstrate how to do chest compressions on a large dog, as well as how to do chest compressions on a small dog or a cat. So first of all, you're going to want to make sure that there's no pulse. Once you know the heart's not beating, you'll want to start the compressions immediately. So first thing you do is to lay um, the, the pet on a stable, flat surface with the right side down. Place both of your palms, one over the other, on the widest part of the rib cage near the heart. Keep both your elbows straight and push down on the rib cage in a firm, quick matter. And you're one gonna do about 15 compressions per 10 seconds or 100 compressions per minute. And you'll wanna switch after two minutes as it is very tiring. If it is a larger dog, over 60 pounds, about 60 compressions per minute. And the rate of the chest compressions varies with the size of the dog. Okay, now, Teddy, we're going to show you how to do chest compressions on a small dog or a cat. Once again, check for the pulse, then lay your cat or small dog on a flat surface. Okay, then you want to place the one hand underneath the cat and put the other hand on top and it's about one inch um, compressions. Once again, very quick, firm compressions and we're looking around 100 to 120 compressions per minute. Elbows straight once again. As well on a small cat or dog, you can do compressions like this. If it's a smaller dog or cat, just put your hand over top like that and once again, quick, firm compressions. And that is how you do compressions on a large dog, small dog, or a cat.